chairman of the National Media Commission, Yabuedo Ayabuafo, has denied assertions that the Office for the Safety of Journalists established in 2021 has become dormant. In the view of the NMC chairman, some journalists who have come under attack have just not used the office to hold perpetrators to account in their fight for justice. The NMC chairman also downplayed claims of culture of silence in our current democratic dispensation. Yabuedo Ayabuafo has been speaking with William Evanson Kum. I have not been idle. We have been trying to engage journalists because they are the key people. You know that one of the difficulties that sometimes the commission faces is the fact that when journalists are in trouble, they never think about reporting to the commission. You know, it's a secondary thought. And even in the matter of Caleb Kuda, we had to personally intervene with the management of CTFM before they wrote to so many people who cannot help them, except the politics of it. But they, they never, you know, called the National Media Commission. Until we in the current democratic dispensation, some believe that their views are being suppressed in a way that contradicts the very position of the constitution and the very tenets of democracy. From where you sit, do you see that there's some creeping of culture of silence? I don't know who, who is suppressing who, because some of the time, when you, when you listen to some of the people saying that they are not allowed to express themselves, and yet they are expressing views, they are sitting on radio stations, they are sitting on TV, and, and still they say that they, they, are, they are being suppressed, and some of the commentary that they are making. Recently, I listened to a program on a radio station where somebody was saying that Nana Kufado is a lawyer, but he doesn't understand the law, and that we don't need uh, any referendum for the election of this year. And he was quoting from the Constitution. Meanwhile, the, the, there's nothing like that in the Constitution. This ignorant person. What I know from where I sit is that because of the political intolerance in the country, if you speak favorably of the MPP, then DC people will attack you. If you speak favorably of the NDC, MPP people will attack you. The consequence of this is that there are many good people who are not talking, who know. And so some of the time we have left those who do not know and those who do not understand to be talking rather than listening to the experts because some of them do not want to be drawn into partisanship. In remuneration, we still know that in some media houses the, the salary is nothing good to write home about. What is the National Media Commission doing about this? Because this is an yeah, old yeah, issue. The National Media Commission it can do very little without support from both journalists and those who have invested. Because the National Media Commission cannot decree that when you employ people, pay them this or pay them that.